We'll have a look at this. The fine folks at Canon have rolled out a number of new digital cameras. This one being one of the very highly anticipated ones. It's sort of um, near the top of the Canon consumer line. Some of the best pictures you're able to get without stepping up to a DSLR. Canon PowerShot SX1 IS10. 10 megapixels and a 20x optical zoom on board this camera, which is pretty long zoom for a uh, consumer camera. 20x, and it also will do 4x digital, which means you're going to be able to get about 80x on the zoom on this thing uh, when using the digital extender. It'll do full HD video, 1920 by 1080. Uh, of course, it'll also do 720p and the like, but this will shoot full high definition video. It'll go up to 1600 on the ISO. Ooh, look at that. See, that's what that's what 20x is going to get you. And there's uh, there's 80x right there. And as you notice, even at 80x, this thing is extremely stable. We can even check for nose hairs from right here, and it's dead stable uh, because it's got some really really fantastic optical image stabilization on board. Ultrasonic, in fact. And you know, if it's ultrasonic, it's going to be awesome. Uh, four frames per second on the continuous shooting, so if you are in a situation where you're trying to, to capture real fast uh, action, four frames per second on the continuous, which is going to pretty much guarantee that you're going to catch whatever you need. It does do face detection. It has all of the features that you expect from a Canon digital camera with the Digic 4 processor on board. It's going to be able to uh, uh, to track multiple faces in the frame. It's going to be able to do all of the color effects, all that cool stuff that the Digic 4 processor can do. It'll shoot in RAW as well. So if you're a user of iPhoto or if you use Photoshop, this will shoot in RAW format, allowing you uh, to tweak your photos after taking them a lot more than you would be able to otherwise. Uh, it also has this very nice fold-out screen which will not only protect the screen while you are out on the road and while you're using it, but it also gives you a lot more flexibility in composing your shots. So when you're behind the camera, you're able to twist and swivel this display. So if you want to get a high angle or low angle shot, you're not going to have any problem composing that with this. And then, of course, also, when you shut this thing down, you also have an electronic viewfinder located right in there, so you are not sacrificing the ability to frame up shots with one of your eyes at all. It has a pop-up flash right here, very easy to turn on and off, very easy to engage and disengage by simply popping it up or down. Look at, it. Look at the barrel on that, 20x optical zoom, which is really absolutely crazy. Uh, let me show you around some of the menus and stuff on this, shall we? Now, if you are already a user of the Canon digital cameras, you're going to be immediately uh, very, very familiar with the interface that is built into these. They're very easy to navigate. It's real easy to get around them, very easy to get your settings all set up. Of course, this is an advanced consumer digital camera, so you are going to have a lot of manual adjustment options available to you. Uh, within these menus, you're not going to be disappointed with the amount of manual control you can put in to this camera. Now, also you're going to find, let me go ahead and back out of this, all of your basic functions located right here, like being able to set up your resolution, photo size, and everything else. Now, right now it's in full auto mode, so you can't actually get to that. So let me go ahead and throw this into manual. Now, as you can see, as you navigate through the various modes, it does give you an on-screen representation of where you are. You can do shutter priority, aperture priority, full manual, uh, custom, which will save all of your settings. You got your movie mode, and of course that movie mode is full high definition video right there. And of course, all of the other modes that everyone is used to seeing on Canon digital cameras. Let me go ahead and throw this into manual mode and show you which options we have over here. You can do all of your white balance options. You've got the options to highlight colors, which is very cool. Auto bracketing is very, very handy. If you're in a weird light situation, you're guaranteed to get the right shots. Or if you want to shoot HDR images, makes it very, very easy. Fully adjustable flash. Uh, you can change your metering right here. Very, just a, a ton of manual features you're going to find on this camera to make taking photos absolutely easy, especially you know if you know what you're doing. You're, you're going to still be able to take great pictures 
with this particular camera. So let me show you around really quick. Lens hood does come with the camera, can be removed if you desire. Flash located right up here, and also your flash control is located right here as well. Also the ability uh, to record audio along with your photos on this button right here. Your mode dial is located right here to very quickly get to all the various shooting modes that are on this camera. Uh, shutter and zoom are located right here. Your on off button is also located right here. And as you work your way towards the back, you have some of your quick access buttons for getting to playback mode, for adjusting your exposure, for adjusting your metering. And then of course, your jog wheel with all of your functions right there and your menu and display buttons located right underneath there. Now, as you can see, the screen can be oriented in any way you'd like. If you want the screen visible while it's right here, it's no problem. It can also be closed so that the screen stays safe while you're using it. Over on this side, you do have HDMI output as well as USB located right underneath here. Underneath here, you have DC in and AV. Now, it does take AA batteries. So you will run this off double A's. You can use rechargeables if you want to. And then right here is your SD card slot. And this does take SDHC cards. So you'll be able to use those with this camera. And on the front, you see your sensors and a couple and a, a pair of stereo microphones right up here on the front of the camera. Overall, this is a really impressive camera. It's a little pricey, but it does have a great zoom, lots of manual features. Um, whether you're a pro or a consumer, you're going to be satisfied with the image quality that comes out of this camera. And you know, there's something really fun about having a really long zoom and a nice form factor like this without the complexity of having a digital SLR. So you can go ahead and check this one out. Very cool. It's the Canon PowerShot SX1 IS10. Remember, it also shoots high depth video, a huge feature on this camera, full high definition, 1080p video on this thing. Uh, so check it out, the Canon PowerShot SX1 IS10. To get more info on the Canon PowerShot SX1 IS10, go to any of the retailers you see here on the screen right now and type in C930-1600 in the search box. For Computer TV, I'm Bauer.